Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks how to pack smart for your summer holiday and how to travel light with just your carry-on luggage. I actually, I just came back from my first trip for summer to Barcelona where I, where I was with my fiancé and we celebrated our fourth anniversary. It was absolutely amazing. It's a must-see, must-go-to destination. It's a beautiful city and if you haven't been to Barcelona, definitely add it to your bucket list and visit this beautiful city. So during the past few years I've been traveling with just my carry-on luggage and I definitely became kind of a pro and I wanted to give you my tips and tricks how I pack my luggage and this is just my carry-on luggage that I can take on board with me. I was, act I was actually durating this few years ago and I thought this would be a nightmare and there is there is absolutely no way for me to travel with just my carry-on luggage, just with my hand luggage. And actually it's uh, pretty easy if you do some tricks and if you just pack smart, it's super easy. So if you want to see my tips and tricks, please just keep watching. So first things first, your bag. You should know the dimensions that you're allowed to take with you on board and this bag right here and this bag right here is the one that I usually take with me absolutely all the time and this is the standard size that is I think 99.9% .9 okay and allowed to take to, to, to take with you on board or if you prefer uh, a suitcase, a small suitcase, you can take uh, a small suitcase with you uh, if you prefer to have something on wheels. Uh, this one that I have right here is actually a tiny bit bigger than the back which is the size of a regular backpack. And uh, uh, some and some low-cost companies do allow bigger hand luggage, so keep that in mind and definitely check out the dimensions of your carry-on luggage. So you should use it smart and you may take a bigger bag with you like this one, but even though the red one is tiny tiny bit smaller, it's super convenient and I've tested it. It can contain ev absolutely everything that I need. So even though the suitcase is a little bit bigger, it actually has it has similar amount of space inside. So it's a personal preference whether you prefer a small suitcase or a shoulder bag. So once you know what bag you can carry and take with you, you have to pack. And please, please pack smart. So I'll show you how I do pack my things for a vacation and usually we do shorter trips like three four night trips and this is how we like it we definitely prefer shorter trips especially to closer destinations because it's just personal preference and it's easier for us and the first tip when it comes to packing to packing your things is do a try on a try on your clothes and don't listen carefully don't overpack yes i know it's super hard it's super super hard i was the one person that was doing it and it's absolutely pointless useless you won't be using these clothes and uh, when it comes to trips and holidays i think it's absolutely a must for you to plan your outfits and to try them on beforehand so what you have to do is the day before the trip just take out all of the clothes that you want to take with you try them on choose what you like what you don't like and plan them how i do it i just plan two outfits for each day one for the daytime and one for the nighttime for example because during the day we do a lot of sightseeing and when i say a lot i mean a lot and during the day you need something comfortable which doesn't mean that it's not cute a dress let me show you a summer dress like this 
in blue and white strap, one shoulder, dress like this. It's absolutely gorgeous, it's very cute, but in, in the same time it's very soft. Uh, the material is really nice and breathable, you will be very very comfortable during the day and with a good pair of comfortable shoes you will feel amazing and you will be able to do uh, a lot of sightseeing which is probably the reason why why are you why why you're going to the trip and i cannot stress this enough it's very very important to plan your trips uh, for every single day and to to and to not waste your time to be choosing your outfit for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. Just plan everything beforehand and your trip will be so much more easier and happier. And the next thing after you have planned your outfit, of course this includes your underwear and shoes. Keep that in mind. The next thing that is sometimes pretty tricky is makeup and people think that, and I was one of these people, that it's super hard for you to take makeup on vacation and you definitely need to put everything in your checked-in luggage but that is not the case and you can take pretty much everything that you need including makeup and face products and your cosmetics so officially the things that you can carry on with you are you are allowed to have one liter of liquids in packages up to 100 ml and that's actually not that bad and it's pretty much everything that you need and I'm going to show you what I do with my makeup and liquids. So first advice, get yourself a plastic clear bag and I know this is not one liter, there are one liter uh, bags that are much bigger and definitely you need that bigger one. but. I took, I had just a smaller one and it was perfectly okay for me and I highly highly recommend to pack your liquids in a plastic bag like this because especially in Europe, if you're traveling in Europe, uh, it is kind of compulsory and um, I've done it before when my um, liquids were not in a clear plastic bag and they checked all my luggage and, and it just was completely unnecessary and it's easier for you to carry them in a plastic bag and usually you're supposed to take them out of your carry-on bag and show them to the security check and it makes things easier for them too so it's easier for everybody uh, in a plastic bag like this preferably a bigger one you just have to plan uh, and think about what do you need and 100 ml is a lot, so this means that you can have your perfume. It's if it's 50 ml, like this. This one is from Ariana Grande, and it's really nice. You can have your deodorant if it's a roll on under under 100 ml. You cannot have sprays that are over 100 ml. But most of the things that you need, your foundation, lipstick, mascara, powder. You can have all of these things and I think it's amazing. Your lipsticks, lip, lip pencils, everything you can have with you. You can do two things. You can um, buy travel size products like I do, which is not the smartest because every time you're just buying, buying new products. But I do actually love travel size products. I think they are very cute and I just love small packagings and very very nice to have small products like this they are very cute i don't know i just i just love travel size products and i do buy them every single time not so smart however uh the smarter thing is that you just can buy a something from the drugstore that every single supermarket or drugstore usually has and it's containers the travel size pack containers is something that would be super easy for you and you just can go through all your belongings and fill the products that you need inside the containers. You can use your shampoo, conditioner, mask, everything that you want to use, face wash, uh, cream. You may not take the entire container, you may just scoop out a little bit and place it in a small 
uh, plastic container and that's uh, something that you that is you reusable and you can use every single time and it's super easy because you will use the same products that you use daily anyway so you can do that and it will be super easy for you and you just like I this is a small deodorant this is small cream and I do get my face cream with me uh, this is my moisturizer with SPF from Nivea and I do take this entire container with me and however for my last trip I did not get I use day cream and night cream but I just took with me the day cream because this is a moisturizer it's super hydrating and for three days it was not a problem for me and i did not want it to have two big containers like this with me just personal preference but to be honest for three days it was absolutely for me to use a single moisturizer for day and night but it's absolutely up to you i also did not uh, get my micellar water i got uh, makeup wipes, which is something that I don't usually use on a daily basis, but for a trip it's so much more convenient. And what I like a lot, a lot is to have a small toothpaste. And don't go crazy because most of the times, especially if you're going to a big city, uh, most of the things you just can buy when you arrive. For example, you cannot carry a, a razor with you to shave your eggs, which is Kind of sucks but you can buy it when you arrive at the destinations but uh, first of all most of the hotels do provide shampoo conditioner body lotion and shower gel so these are things that you kind of don't need if you don't want to and you definitely can buy toothpaste when you arrive because you cannot take a big one but I just like to have a small one to travel with because I do or do brush my teeth when I'm at the airport most of the times. So you just place everything inside a, bag, a plastic bag like this. And it's super easy and this bag actually had everything that I needed. I just had my foundation, powder, lipstick, mascara, brow product and highlighter and um, I will actually do a travel makeup look that stays on all day and travel makeup look that is day and night versions too so stay tuned for that subscribe to my channel and you will see so much more amazing videos coming up so tip number four is actually an advice and uh, it's you will be able to pack everything that you need and to make things easier you just can make a list make a list beforehand about every single thing that you want to have with you including your clothes your jewelry your makeup and just when uh, you're done check everything out according to the list and cross it out and uh, this way you will keep in track everything and you will be sure that you're not forgetting something. Lists are super important. It stresses me out if, you ha if I have to remember every single thing. So this is just a way to make things easier and to make your life so much easier. And talking about this, I have to give you advice how to actually pack your clothes and your belongings into your suitcase and um, and right now I'm just going to show you how I do everything. First advice that most people do is to roll your clothes and let me show you the inside of my suitcase. And now this is the inside of your uh, slash mine in this case suitcase and when you have your clothes, shoes and things on the side the way to pack them is like this so you know what shoes you want to get just put them in bags to keep everything clean and put them in the bottom this is how i prefer it uh, i usually have two or three maximum pairs of shoes and in this case for three days in barcelona i had only the shoes i was uh, traveling with which were white adidas and these golden sandals right here and I was planning to have platforms for the night time but I thought that was completely unnecessary because these sandals were super good with all my dresses that I had and after a long day of sightseeing my feet were absolutely dead so 
for me it's not convenient to have heels but that's personal preference just have your shoes in bags to keep things clean and then uh, uh, put your underwear in bag as well these things are bulky and will take a lot of space but it's okay uh, the next thing is of course clothes and you can follow the list you made to pack everything and what most people advise and i think that it's true that if you roll your clothes everything uh, will take up less space so let's do that and voila clothes for three days uh, take up uh, that much space which is absolutely nothing and as I said, definitely it's absolutely okay if you even have a smaller suitcase. And the next thing is your makeup and cosmetics and you can place them some kind in the middle right here. And that is it. This is almost everything that you need and I would give you just a few more tips what else you need for your trip. So back to the tricks. When we have our shoes, underwear, liquids and clothes, uh, you can check of course everything on the list that you made and cross everything out that you already have in your suitcase and another thing actually two things that I think are super important to have with you when you're going to a trip is something warm like a jumper or a jacket and I like this white jumper right here to have something warm especially for the time when you're on the plane because on airports and planes uh, it's usually super cold I swear I was so so cold the last time that I was very happy that I had something warm because if you're going to warm weather destination you don't think that you will need a jacket uh, for example a denim jacket because it's warm but actually when you're traveling to the destination things can get super cold so please have something because otherwise you can get cold on the airplane and you can get sick and this will ruin all your trip and the second thing that saves your trip is a hat a hat is something that you should not miss and uh, something that you need for a summer holiday because it's usually super warm and sunny and I used to not like and wear hats at all but I just Find something that you like and you will feel okay or even cute wearing it. And this one, I cannot, I don't have a hat friendly hairstyle at the moment, but this one I think it's very cute. It's uh, very thin and breathable, but still very protective. And uh, if you're all day long outside and there is super hot sun, you can get too warm and feel sick afterwards. So a hat like this will protect your head and you will feel so much better while you are outside. Tip number six is to check your essentials once again before leaving the house. This is something that I do all the time. Even though that I had the list and I crossed everything that I had and put inside my suitcase. You need some essentials that are that are must have for your entire trip. So if you forget a top or a dress, or for example, I forgot a pair of earrings that I wanted to wear, but cares, it was absolutely unnecessary and not important. But for example, you should not forget your documents and your passport. So please check if you have your uh, passport, your documents, your tickets, your money, phone, charger and something else if you think it's super important but if you have your tickets, money uh, and documents you at least will be able to travel and this is the most important as I said if you forget a piece of clothing or a makeup it's not that big of a problem so just relax it's it's okay, everything will be fine. Just have your tickets, passports and money and you will be fine. And the last thing that I want to talk about and my last tip is don't stress out. Please don't do it. I, I'm a person that I do have 
a travel anxiety almost every single time but there are some uh, ways to overcome it for example i am not scared of plane rides it's not the flight that i'm scared of it's not a problem i actually do you like traveling uh, with an airplane? It's so much fun for me, but uh, the days before the trip can be a little bit overwhelming, but keep in mind that you are super lucky to be traveling. Enjoy every single moment before, during and after your trip. Keep in mind that you're super, super lucky and happy person to be able to travel and explore the world and see new places. So take a deep breath. Just keep in mind that everything will be fine. You don't need to stress out. Breathe in, breathe out, and keep in mind that everything will be okay with you. And it's just silly. I I tell this to myself. Everything will be fine. Just appreciate everything that you have and that is happening to you, and that you're so so lucky to be doing this. And of course, things happen. Flights get delayed. Like. 50% of the time my flight gets delayed but that's that's okay this is kind of the things that usually happen during a trip and it's not a problem it's not the end of the world everything will be fine in the end so enjoy every moment and every second of your trip and of your life as a whole of course and please collect moments not things and just keep your smile on your face and everything will be fine so this is it these were all my tips and tricks how i travel and how i pack light and smart with just my carry on luggage with me i think it's super easy and it's not that big of a deal it's not a science it's super easy and i definitely feel if you have feel like if you have the chance to travel with just a carry-on luggage you'll be so much more comfortable and it's super easy and fun so i think that was it for today thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos turn on your post notifications and please please give a thumbs up and leave a comment below this helps me so much and i'll see you in my next video ciao